Hi, my name is Christoph. Welcome to the Quick City Workshop. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to hang a door from scratch. And in this particular case, the door frame does not have the hinges. So as a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to deal with that problem. Let's say you have a door frame and the door had to move from the inside of the room to the outside. And in my case, it is a double frame. The door frame is actually double sided, but it only had hinges on the, on, the, on the one side, on the inside. And because they installed, the previous people installed cupboards on that side, the door was no longer able to, to function properly. And so they replaced the door with this terrible concertina thing. And it's been frustrating since we moved in. So I finally <clears throat> decided to just put a door on the outside. So that's just a normal, uh, normal cheap wooden door that you, you buy, a uh, raw. Now, the doors that you buy off the shelf that are a little bit oversized, so you always have to trim off a little bit. The standard size of the, of the frame is just a little bit smaller than what you buy the door for. So, firstly, um, you look uh, what, what is square. If there's corners that's not square, you have to take it in consideration and cut your door accordingly. So what I just did is I measured the frame and um, I'm going to cut the door a little bit smaller <clears throat> to leave room for, for um, a little gap because you don't want your door to be too tight. And I also don't want to go back and forth and, and cut and, and fit and cut. So I, I'm, I measure carefully and I also, uh, I just put the door in the frame and traced with a, a pencil the one side so that I'm also sure of, of the squareness and the, if the lines are not parallel or not. So let's start and <clears throat> the first thing that you would um, need if you want to do this is um, the necessary hardware which is just a door, um, handles, uh, a lock and hinges and some screws obviously. Uh, and then tool wise what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my cordless drill, some drill bits uh, a little grinder um, and a pop riveter and that should be enough tools oh and the saw I'm gonna use uh, in my case I, I'm lucky I have a, a Festo saw that can cut on this rail and makes a very neat clean uh, straight cut but um, if you don't have a saw and you need this to be done it would be better to try and get uh, a carpenter professional to help you because if you start cutting by hand or cut with a jigsaw or any other saw then it's gonna it's not gonna end up straight it's gonna be wobbly and you're not gonna have a neat door so. These hinges are specifically for this um, application where you have a steel frame and normally you would weld this side in, in the steel frame but um, I don't want to weld in the house so I'm just gonna 
put them in place and then I'm gonna uh, pop rivet them. So if you look closely to this hinge, when it's closed, you can see there's a gap there. And that is not a, an ideal situation. So you don't want to cut your door that much smaller. The door, uh, this one side of the hinge will actually be recessed into the, into the wood. And those holes are to, to put screws in. And this side, which got no holes, I'm going to put that into the frame. I'll show you. And I'm going to drill two holes and just put two pop rivets. Then I'm going to countersink a little bit. So as you can see here, uh, I cut a, a slot into the side and I inserted the hinge so that this, this is flush with, with the hinge. So that slot that I made is slightly in from the side. Now let's do the other one also. I'm marking where the screw heads will be when the door is closed and I want my rivets to be opposite of them so I'm going to put one there and one there like that so I punched it and um, then I turned the punch around and I just used the back of the punch to dent the metal in on those two spots so that the rivets will be flush. So you can see it's two rivets and they are, this can close flat on, on that surface. Now I just need to do the other one.
so I marked uh, the hinge places and I'm going to recess that just a tiny bit for the hinge to go into the wood. Thank you. 
putting only one screw in just to, to, just to test everything and I need to take the door out again to make a small adjustment. Well, that is enough for today. Um, I've successfully installed this door. I'm very happy with it. Um, it still needs to be painted. But that's for another day. So now we have a door instead of a concertina door. Riveted uh, this plate on, and I'll. There were some holes that I had to close, um, so I still need to paint this. But I'll paint everything one shot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week. Cheers.